So good morning or good night, depending on where you are in the world. And welcome to another interview of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host, Hector, and today I'm joined by two members from the band, Crippled Black Phoenix. I have uh, Belinda and Justin with me, and we're oh, here to talk about... Yeah, uh, we're here to talk about the the brand new album. It's a compilation album with some rework songs called "The Wolf Changes Its Fur But Not Its Nature." So, first of all, uh, how are you tonight? Hey, good, thank you. Good, good, good. Good. So, yeah, it's great to have you guys here. Uh, uh, I like the rework versions that you did on this record and. You are celebrating 20 years as a band. Kind kind of a, a band. <laughs> okay. What do you mean kind of a band, Justin? <laughs> uh, it's been called many things. I'm not sure what it is. It's not the it's not a conventional band. We just we'll just say that. <laughs> uh, well who who get who cares about convention, you know? Uh yeah, you guys have like your own thing going on. And you know, I it says that it's tough, it's macabre, but it's a lot of like different elements that you have to the music. So, uh, 20 years, so it seems like it's yesterday, 2004, but yeah, it's been 20 years. Mm -hmm. so, so, uh, when you guys were like, how did you decide that you wanted to rework some songs to celebrate 20 years as a band? Justin, uh. I guess, you know, I mean, 20 years, it's, I mean, it's not a, a massive amount of time, some bands, you know, it's, but it, it just felt like, I don't know, it just felt like there's a little opportunity to do something <clears throat> a bit different, a bit more fun than, than doing, I mean, we've just done a new album, we're just recording it now. But in the meantime, it just felt like it was, it was kind of right to do something like this, I think, you know, um, we were going to do a tour and, you know, make a make more of a big deal about the anniversary, but in the end, we just re-recorded a few songs and a few cover versions. It, you know, it's it's a cool little opportunity to do this. So, um, but I think as far as making an album of reworked old songs goes, uh, it's kind of nice for us to be able to record the songs in a way that we play them live now because mm. you know give those old songs a second chance if you like you know mm. um and that's why the songs we picked were from the like the first three three albums i guess first three or four albums um because i know um, those are uh, those albums have a charm <laughs> and people you know like them for what they are but uh, <laughs> um, I think the 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 way that they were presented, I, you know, I guess it was nice to kind of redo them. <laughs> yeah, for example, on uh, we forgotten who we are. It's like a a minute longer, and it has like a more like a like an intro, and you hear like the wolves. So it's a little bit more uh, grandiose, uh, but it, it's it's not like it's totally different from the original. We forgot who we are. No, it didn't change. That one was quite faithful. Didn't I? Just didn't feel the need to, to oh. change too much. Is that <laughs> fangs? Fangs. No, it's, yeah, it's the, the the cat wants to give fair. his opinion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Some songs felt right to to. I wouldn't say change them. It's just play them like the because they've developed over time. You know, we play them in the live set with with the different people, and this is what they've become. You know, it's kind of just presenting the way that we, if we play these songs in the live set now, this is the way we play them. That that was the kind of the the idea behind it. It wasn't because I wanted to change too much or anything. It's just this is just that's how they've developed. You know, and some some songs have remained pretty much the same. Like we forgotten is pretty much the same. Wiss and Dime's pretty much the same, but um. The other songs, yeah, the like song for the song for the unloved or song for the loved as it used to be, it's like quite different, you know. And yeah. 
I know that's that for I, four four I, four you you added some you added some new lyrics to that one. Yeah, because the the songs need to make sense now. So I I kind of let's just get this out of the way because um, there's lots of like maybe confusion about you know members and X this that and the other and uh, lyrics and things like that. The 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 first singer Joe Volk, we we don't take anything away from this guy. You know he, he's he's a great vocalist, he's a great lyricist, but he writes in a certain way. He's very phonetic. Mm -hmm. What he did was really great, but some of the songs, not all of them, like the, what he did on I Vigilante was superb. You know, it was great lyrics. Love, loved them. So we don't really mess with that because they made sense. They made sense to the song, you know, the theme of the song and everything. But some of them, they were so abstract. And again, not taking anything away from them, they, they, we, I'll stand by everything we did back then. I didn't want to change them because I didn't, like them or I disrespect them or anything. It's mm. just that there was a there was an idea behind the song when I wrote it and a theme and I wanted to recapture that because I felt like the old lyrics didn't really match, if you see. Yeah, I have to say that with a, the, uh, the most amount of respect possible for, no. for, Joe, for Joe. You know, it's nothing to do with erasing what he did. It's just that for so long, for like all these years, I've just felt some of the songs they they meant so much to me, but they didn't. It didn't come across because the lyrics didn't match. You know. <laughs> yeah, that that makes total sense. Uh, so uh, so Belinda, uh, I also like you know the contributions that you give uh, to the songs. You know, with the way that you sing and you give your own own thing. Like for you, how how was it revisiting some of these songs? Uh, I, it was because I love these I love these songs and I thought the original I mean it's not too much change but the originals were amazing so uh, I think I was a little bit oh god like that in, in the beginning but then I thought I'll, I'll just do I just do me and and that's what it is I guess <laughs> you know yeah. I don't think too much into things I just I just I just do it yeah, but I was a little bit I mean, I, there's a there's people that are gonna compare and not gonna like my vocals and you know like the old and some are gonna you know that, that comes with it. So I just I just do me and you know if it's good if people like it they like it if they don't they don't. <laughs> yeah, that's a mm. fair way to uh, yeah. to look at it. And uh, I know that you are also you know, so as we are speaking today. The, the first part of this album is out and people can get it on vinyl, but there's going to be a second uh, disc which has is going to have some covers. Yeah. Uh, what like tell me a little bit about the covers that you chose uh, to do for this project. Belinda chose the Laura Brannigan. Well, it's not well, the Laura Brannigan version of, of um, self control. I know it's the, the old Italian pop song, but. Um, so she alone can tell you why that madness crept in. <laughs> oh, because I loved it. It's it's got it, it it's I, I just loved the, the whole groove of the song, you know. I just loved the whole song, Laura Brannigan. And and I wanted it to do God, my pal, because if they, they, they were or are the ones that are alive from where I was born in Geelong, Melbourne. And uh what else? And Deep Purple. Those are the ones I wanted to do, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Justin. Uh, yeah, what, what was the question? Why did why did we pick the songs? Yeah. No, no, like which songs did you pick and 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 why? Uh, you know, talking about the songs that you picked yeah. for the. Yeah, well, the, well, the rest of them, I guess, would I picked, but I, well, I have this kind of playlist of songs that I always, you know, when I listen to old songs and I'm like, I'd like to play, I'd like to do a cover version of that one day, you know. And we always do things just out of respect for the songs, you know, not for any ulterior motives. We don't want to try and make of our own or anything. Is that sort of too egotistical? So, and then when I hear these songs, I just put it on in the playlist and then just refer to the playlist when we feel like playing some, you know, recording some cover versions and just, you know, pick these songs. But they're always 
songs that we love or the like i don't know that's kind of influenced us i guess because everything influences you but i think with mm-hmm. both me and belinda we're both probably influenced more by real world things and films and things like that you know we don't really that's why it's, it seems quite different and eclectic the the choice of songs and bands you know they don't sound like cripple black phoenix you know <laughs> it's because i think that's the sh- the cool thing about doing covers maybe picking things that people wouldn't think that you guys would like to play mm. yeah i mean what it'd be really boring if we were just playing you know bands that sounded similar or whatever i mean but i don't think we listen to this kind of i mean i don't really listen to this kind of music i guess <laughs> <laughs> I think on the on the new al- new album that I, I'm me and Storms are putting down vocals soon, and there's going to be one cover. I think that is going to surprise everyone. <laughs> you have to put one cover in there, and that's going to be a surprise. You oh, understand? On, on the new album that you're working oh, on. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's so good. Half, I think half the world is shocked that they missed that song. It, it's from a band from the like eighties, nineties, but because we really we really like it. You know, okay. that's going to be a surprise, if anything. So, yeah, so you won't spoil it here. People will have to wait for next year to know yeah. what that, that cover yes, is. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, we have to wait till next year. It's not Oh, fun. God, a whole year for original it's, songs. I know, it's weird, isn't it? We're, we're sat here talking about the new album, and the new album to us is the one that we're working mm-hmm. on. But it, the, last, the last couple of releases, it's weird because since, like, the... Covid and the, and the trouble with like um you know with, there's a big log jam in in the in releasing albums and we kind of got one album behind so mm. now it's a bit strange because we're working on a new album but the album the new album coming out now is the one that was recorded a while ago you know so yeah okay. so, so we got of... the new album plus this compilation and the second part of the compilation that's all covers. And the newer album that you're working on, so yeah, you you guys yeah. are going to be uh, busy. So uh, musically, what can we expect from the album that you're currently working on? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 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 the best yet. It's the best yet. No. Uh, artists are not supposed to say that, and it kind of. Oh yes, they can. No, but it's she not said saying the it's best the best yet. in the world. I'm saying it's it's the <laughs> best. I think the best crippled. It's it's like a mix of, isn't it? Just it's like if you got Bainfire, which was like a musical and a long movie and and like storytelling. Ellen Geist was more straightforward. What would you say, Justin? Is it more like? M- is it... It's more. It's more like Ellen. I think it's more like Ellen Geist. Alan, I think it's more like Ellen Geist, but it's it's um. It's got, it's edgy like Bainfire. Yeah, very edgy. Yeah. It's kind of a little bit more kind of dark, kind of gothy, kind of fairy tale. But the way it's done, the album, it kind of gives that vibe that Alan Geist, I guess. But yeah, it's just it's the same old shit, really. Just not as long as <laughs> not as long it's as same Bainfire. Old shit, really. It's not as long as Bainfire. <laughs> no, no, it's no. It, it, I think it's going to be like an hour long. That's it. Yeah. That, that's pretty short for us. Oh, I'm looking forward to those ones. There's some dancey ones on there. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, and it's coming. It's gonna be coming out also on Season of Mist, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice. Yeah, Season of Mist is a cool label. It has some great artists to it. Uh, so let me show the artwork of the compilation album that's out now uh, <laughs> for for people to you know uh, they'll have to wait for the new one. So. Here we have the album cover for The Wolf Changes His Fur, but not its nature, which I think it's pretty self-explanatory because it's a cool way to say like it's uh it's like older songs, but like some different, but they're still the same. So yeah, I, I think that's a cool title. So tell me a little bit about what the band wanted to convey with this artwork. Well that the artwork was done by a, a friend of ours in Athens in Greece. Called um, Thana and uh, he did Alan Guy's cover too, didn't he? He did the Alan Guy's cover too, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's um, it's kind of like not the gram, it's uh, like an etching he, he, he makes, 
Um, but he really understands the band, and he he's he's been around for a long time. You know, he's a he was a fan of the old old band, so it kind of really made sense for him to do it. Um, and I think he understood the 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 feeling behind the album. You know, the whole kind of you know the reworkings, and it's but it's the same band, but it's different. And I think, and he really took the album title and and ran with it. You know with the wolf but then he's captured sort of the more sort of recent elements of the band you know where it's a little bit more apocalyptic i mean it was all, always pretty miserable when it comes to that but it's re really apocalyptic now bill and Deteco, i've got to sort the cat out <laughs> <laughs> yeah the cat's trying to destroy something oh, friends and busy boo boo oh they want attention as soon as he starts talking like this, they start up. Yeah, they're like, feed me. <laughs> yeah, or they, no, they like, see me, walk yeah. me. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah, what they're happens. Bit, <laughs> they're being walked and fed. They're just, they're just one attention. Yeah, Bengals, the, 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 no joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, the artwork is, yeah, it's pretty cool. And, and you know, I, I like that it's all like uh, black and gray. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I love black and gray, like a, a black and white, black and gray in photos and film. I love that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah, it, it it gives you that kind of kind of cool, kind of spooky edge, but without <laughs> being, you know, it's so it's so simple, but it's kind yes. of it's it's almost otherworldly without being psychedelic, you know. Mm. Yeah. No, that 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 wolf reminds me. I don't know if you guys remember that movie from the end, uh, the eighties, the Never Ending Story. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me. You remember the the bad the the bad guy? Uh, it was the wolf. The <laughs> we had the wolf that was like so. It kind of looks like that wolf. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty uh, cool mm -hmm. album artwork. So you you guys are busy like working on new music, promoting this compilation. Uh, the second part, the one with the with the covers, uh, when is that coming out? Early next year? No, it comes out. No. This, comes out in November. November. Yeah, yeah, end end of November. Twenty ninth, Friday. Yeah. The 29th. Oh yeah, because right now digitally you have the first part with eight songs, and at yeah. the end of November uh, you have. Uh, everything with the with the other cover so yeah people yeah i'm yeah, guessing you, people can pre-order it now yeah of course yeah yeah you've got the season of mist and pre-order it and i think our our band shop uh, evil greed the mm -hmm. the european shop that we have they they've got some really like super limited artist editions which are basically another limited color variant or, or whatever <laughs> Um, but they're only available from from that shop and and from us if we play shows. So we'll have some. We're going to do one more show this year in, in Athens in Greece. So fingers crossed, we'll have some for, for that show. Where um, is that show in Athens, Greece? Twenty uh, third. Yeah. Yeah, twenty third of this month. Yeah. So very soon. one week before Thanksgiving. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a cool place to have a show. What can fans <clears throat> expect from that uh, that show uh, in Athens? Are you gonna like have like a? Is it going to be like very theatric? Like, what can people expect? No. <laughs> we're not. We're not, we're not the, the, theatrical. No theatrical. Okay. I mean, you know, we're kind of yeah. It would be nice. It'd be nice to be like Pink Floyd, but it's kind of ten pence Pink Floyd, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got the dollars. Yeah. 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 This me is neither. it. Every, every, me neither. Something. That's yeah. why I use the couch yeah. <laughs> in my, to talk. I, yeah. I don't have the the big production thing. Yeah. So, you, you have to. So, you have to use what you have to your advantage. You know. I mean. Exactly. But um, no. I mean, I think the set list. You know, there's like a few. It's not like a greatest hits or anything like that. We didn't want to do like the obvious. You know, 20 years old. We're gonna go through all these things, and I'll tell you now, we're, we're not, we're not, uh, we're never gonna be the band that plays I Vigilante or Crafty Ape. You know, when a band plays an album in its entirety. Oh yeah, 
we we ain't got, ever going to do that. So we're not into the kind of playing the greatest hits or do. We just we like to go forward, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, yeah, it's twenty years. We've put some songs in there we haven't played for a long time, and you know, we're just gonna just try try and try and do I don't know, do the best show possible for the people, you know, because. We only have one rehearsal before the show, and we're from different countries, so. <laughs> yeah, we don't get to rehearse it ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow! No, uh, because there's it, people from England. I'm in Sweden. There's Germany. There's Norway, or you know, <laughs> whatever, and America, and yeah. we're gonna have the dollars again to like rehearse. Well, you could do like a Zoom practice. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh god! Ew. I tell you, I, 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 I'm. I'm a Luddite. I would never, I would have no idea how to do that. <laughs> how, the, how the F do you do that? Yeah. Well, I think like this, you just like, in the, but instead you, everyone would be playing. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's better when everyone's in a room. Yeah. 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 I mean, it'll be okay. I mean, we played some shows earlier this year in, in August, I think. And uh, they, they, those five shows were sort of the five of, some of the best shows we've ever played. We, we really enjoyed Oh, that. yeah, that was fun. Yeah. You know, the people, the, the live band and everything, and with Storms singing as well. Um, it, yeah, we got on so well. And it, it was fun. Together great. So we really enjoyed that. So it's this this one's going to be fine. We just, you know, we brush up and stick a few extra songs in. Hopefully the, the extra songs will be able to rehearse them enough. And, yeah. But we yeah. we used to play we used to play in Greece like quite regular for since since the early days you know um, and we've had a really good relationship we haven't been back there since I think 2018 so it's been a few years so it'll be nice it's going to be really nice to go back we really like Athens we really like Greece so the food is the food is great I haven't been but. Oh, yeah. I wanna, I wanna go there. Plus, they have, you know, it's, it seems like a cool. Like, if you wanna like book a last show for a year, uh, I would rather do like Athens, Greece. Uh, uh, I don't know some place that I'd be like, yeah, no, I, I don't wanna play the middle of Montana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing against people from Montana, but but I think a show in Greece yeah. <laughs> is more tempting yeah. for anyone. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, think, uh, will you play some of the songs for the album that you're working on, or you? Are, no, no, are you no. no, 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 <laughs> no. That's yeah, all. That 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 will come. That will come. That will come yeah, in, the not, <laughs> yeah, in the future. Yeah, yeah. It's frustrating, really, because every everybody's really excited about the new stuff. Like everybody who, who's who's worked on it and who's heard it, really excited. It's kind of a really weird kind of good vibe for once you know um which is really rare so it's kind of frustrating now that we're gonna to have to sit on this recording for, for oh so god forever yeah <laughs> for anyone else this time next year type of thing Ho hopefully this time next year we'll have the album out but, okay yeah, yeah well you heard it here first yeah. uh, that album's gonna be they're working on new stuff for next year and in your if you're in Athens. On the 23rd of November, uh, you can catch the band. So, uh, Belinda, Justin, you know, before I let you go, uh, so you can enjoy your Friday night, anything <laughs> that you'd like to say to the fans before we go? Uh, oh, we just, I hope that we see them again, you know, because who, 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 who knows? see them again. <laughs> who knows? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, what I mean, it's so difficult now, you know. Mm -hmm. I think we have to treat everything we do, we have to treat it like it's the last. Just because we don't know. So well, that is that is true. So I hope so. I hope so. Because we've talked about doing a US tour. We oh, yeah, we talked about like we talked to somebody in Australia for a little while a few years ago. There's so many things that we haven't done that we really were planning to do. You know, I mean, we were actually booked onto the Cycle Las Vegas Festival and we had the tickets and everything, but the UK visa office couldn't get that shit into gear in time to, to, to put a stamp on the bit of paper. And, you know, that was it. We, we couldn't go. So Yeah, we're jinxed live, aren't we, going on tours and stuff. Yeah, it's really yeah. difficult. Yeah, we've been jinxed. So... The, you know, 
we've got to just like do what we can when we can just take the opportunities when they come up you know so yeah let's let's do Greece and hopefully maybe we'll we'll get out there again you know I mean you know we may be old but we're not giving up no <laughs> The age There's is no just age. a number. Yeah, exactly. There's no age to music. I think we yeah, we like true. fine wine. I think we get better and better, to be honest. I do. Yeah. I get grumpy. I, I like Belinda's attitude. That is true. Uh, <laughs> we do. I go. mean, are, are you a 70s kid? Me? Yeah. 1977. Oh, you're a 70s, yeah. 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 We're older, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who cares? Yeah, that's just, 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 just the generation X, you know. I mean, I think I'm still, like, I'm still generation X. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. the coolest not, generation. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, and, exactly. And music shouldn't only be be connected with youth. You know, it's like no, no. This is what's so strange though, because we've we've noticed like we have like a weird demographic where there's like like teenagers, young kids into it and then middle-aged guys with beer bellies and pink floyd t-shirts you know <laughs> and not, nothing much in between but no this, but we've noticed more i've noticed more younger from ellen guys forward they or, yeah. started with great escape but more from ellen guys they're getting a little bit younger i think it's the it's the goth and that in the, in the, in the music and the few yeah few, Few more, few more females as well. So yeah, it's like yeah. it shifted for a while. I think it's because we got kind of lumbered in with the with the prog crowd for a while, which is no bad thing, of course. But mm -hmm. we're not a prog band, you know. We're we might be progressive, as in like you know this. You know, you must realize the music was probably at its creative best between 1969 and 75, I guess, when it was progressive. That's that doesn't make you prog, you know. So I kind of we have that spirit of being progressive. We like we like to move forward and do our own thing and just don't care what everyone says. We just no like, rules, no no rules. rules exactly. So, but then when we got tagged like prog, I think that gave us some amazing fans and followers. Um, but it also misrepresented us a little bit, and I think. It wasn't the young crowd that were kind of aware of us. And now that they are, which is great because now everybody's aware of, well, not everybody, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> we're still pretty unknown bands, really. But yeah, I think more people are going to hear us now. So, like a different crowd, I think, which is nice. Yeah. Totally cool. What about you, Belinda? Anything you'd like to say to the fans? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very good talker. Well, uh, we're really happy that they like the band. Obviously, you know, without fans, you you you, you know, it's fans that keep you going. It sounds like a cliche, but it is support from the fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, I I know what to say to the fans. Have a good time, all of the time. Yeah. Ooh. You can have kind. as much as you can. Be yeah. kind to each other and, remember, and be kind remember. to oh, animals. Stay no. positive. Nice sticker. <laughs> be kind to each other and be kind to animals. Yes. Be kind to animals. Yeah, if someone is not kind to animals, uh, you know they're not a good person. <laughs> no, they're not. If yeah. somebody somebody enjoys hurting animals or, or killing for sport, they're a psychopath. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I do it. Anyone who enjoys killing stuff. So. Yeah, not for sport, like, but if you're going to eat, <laughs> but not for sport, yeah, not, not just to put it on a mantle. Yeah, I never hunted in my life, but there's no hunting in Puerto Rico anyway. So, <laughs> no, nobody hunts anything here. It's uh, not part of, yeah, it's not I'm part of the club. Yeah. Well, that's really, that's really nice. I'd love to live in the place with no hunting. I mean, unfortunately, around here we have. The, the fox hunting and we're we're big anti fox hunt we're hunt saboteur supporters through and through and uh, but this is a real local problem to to our lips so yeah not good 
And that is just, it's, I mean, it's not sport, is it? Because to, to be a sport, both sides have to be equal. Um, they're just, they're just posh goons that like killing stuff, you know. Posh just, counts. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> posh motherfucking counts. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, you no. can swear here. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, uh, Justin, yeah, and Belinda, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank you for taking some time of your night to chat with me uh, from Stockholm and from uh, England here to my couch in Puerto Rico. So, the crippled black uh, phoenix, the wolf changes its fur but not its nature. Out now digitally in a few weeks, it's going to be out full. We also the covers, and you heard it here. They're working on new music for next year. So, Yay. yeah, I hope, I hope, we get, I hope we come to South America and Puerto Rico. Ah, yes, thank you, you for having us. Yeah, really thank you for doing this. Yeah, if us. you come, if you come here, like, uh, uh, like, yeah, it would be cool, like, because uh, there's a good uh, metal music scene here, uh, so people appreciate it. So, until next time, Couchers. This is Hector, the shield dude on a couch, and I'll see you all right here on the couch. Thank you and goodbye.